What is up guys, Ultra Balls back with another Snake Draft semi-final game. Uh, this time we have the Little Cup game between Sken and Hasup. So uh, I think I said it before, Little Cup is my favorite tier, so I'm glad to be doing another one of these games. Uh, we'll look quickly into the teams, but we're not going to spend too much time on it. We'll just hop into the replay, because both both teams are like relatively similar, to be honest. Even though they only have like share one mod in common, like they're the same sort of archetype. It's more of like a balanced type team, uh, where most of the mods carry a lot of defensive utility. Uh, I guess the one exception to that on Sken's side would be like Ghastly and for Haste up it'd be Salandit which is interesting because you don't see Salandit too often uh, but it is like a fairly decent Mon and uh, it's interesting because Sken doesn't have really good answers to that so it looks like a good bring like Onyx w is generally like a pretty good bring for um, for Salandit but uh, if he lets if he lets the Onyx uh, eat up its berry juice early, then it's not going to be like a super solid switch in. It'll probably be only only able to like switch in one time. So that's something to keep in mind when we look at the lead, because we see the Onyx versus Fungus lead here. So if Onyx opts to get up the rocks turn one, uh, and it gets Giga Drain down to its sturdy, then it loses its berry juice, and then like I said, uh, Sken becomes a lot weaker to the Salandit. So. I guess with that we'll just hop right in. Uh, Doc did say that uh, he missed the first few turns of these, so he just like went like he replayed the beginning, or he, like he went to replay uh, the first few turns of this. So they're gonna the first few turns are gonna fly by pretty fast until we catch up with the players. So uh, yeah, bear with me because I'm gonna be going at hyper speed. Uh, yeah, but okay, so we see this lead I already talked about it a little bit. Uh, we see the rocks by Onyx and yeah, the Giga Drain. So the uh, the Onyx does waste its Berry Juice turn 1, which like I said is going to make uh, Salandit a lot bigger problem. Uh, we see HP Fire is a really good play by Hayes. If he's going to be able to 2KO this Pharisee, and uh, Pharisee does be, is able to get up a spike before it dies though. Um, and now we're going to see, okay, Ghastly subs. So if he goes for Spore, no, he does Giga Drain and that does break the sub. So that's a really good play by Hayes up there. Uh, and now is he going to go for Spore here? Yeah, really nice set of plays uh, there by Hasep, uh not letting the free sub on the Ghastly. Uh, and now, like, since the Ghastly's asleep, like, Star, you could probably spin here, but it's probably going to come, like, it's going to have to eat a high jump kick. Uh, so that's, yeah, yeah. And, and like, no, Star, you can't Oko this. That's not going to do that. Yeah, see, that doesn't kill. Now he just loses Star, you. But those hazards were really problematic for Hasep, so good job by him for getting those things off. We see this Atlantic come out here, and like I said, okay, so this is going to take a good chunk. Yeah, see, it took 42, and now it can't switch in anymore. So that was like the only answer to Solanda, and now it's not a switch in. Uh, we see a double into Pawnyard, I guess trying, I don't know what he was trying to catch there. Uh, probably like, I, I don't know. So we're just going to see Earthquake. Now we could probably see Rocks go up now for Hasep, uh, since I don't think this, did this thing, yeah, this thing burned one turn of sleep, but I'd probably just get Rocks up here if I was Hasep. As we see, it stays asleep again. And now, we're probably going to see Hasep switch out into... Volibee? Salandit. Okay, hard Salandit. Uh, interesting play there, because Shadow Ball, if it stayed asleep, would have done... Would have probably, like, killed it. Killed this thing? Uh, I don't know the rules for sure on Salandit, but, I mean, this thing ain't very uh, bulky. So, we do see it pick off the Ghastly, and... Okay, he goes Spritzy, so I think... The Salandit must be Scarf. Uh, even though Ghastly and Salandit, I'm pretty sure hit the same speed. Uh, so, but I'm I, I'm pretty sure he was just assuming the only reason he'd go into Salandit is if he was Scarfed. So he goes to Spritzy, anticipating that thing to be Choice Locked. And now we're going to see. Uh, like I think this is probably a Scarf Pawnyard, seeing that the Mianfu is not Scarf and the Ghastly wasn't Scarf and the Rocks are on Onyx. This is probably definitely Scarf uh, Pawnyard on Sken's side. So he's able to knock off the Timbers he Violite. Uh, so Timber goes for Mach Punch there. Uh, I understand not wanting to go to Spritzy right away because you don't want him to knock off the Spritzy's of Violite because that really hurts its ability to check this Timber later on in the game. So it was a good play by Sken, uh, pivoting to the Mianfu first in case he wanted to go for Knock Off. And we see the Protect here, which I agree with because you're keeping this thing at full, uh, which is going to allow you to, um, like I said, check the Timber, check the Volibee better. Uh, keeping this completely healthy is really nice for Sken. So he wishes up again. Uh, surprised that Hasep just didn't spore again. I think he's trying to catch the the Mianfu coming in maybe. But now, yeah, so now Mianfu does come in and gets, uh, he's going to get Wish back up to full. Especially after, yeah, so with after regen, he's going to be at full. And he could probably, he could either just knock or U-turn. And we could see a spore come out here by Hasep. Yes, yeah, so we do see the spore come out, but the, um... The Manfu was able to knock off the Fungus, which is really nice, and now um, things pretty much back at full. So it could burn a turn to sleep here, and I assume that you were going to go either... You could you could stay in and burn another turn if you really wanted to. Yep. 
Could we see a knock? All right, so it was a violet. Yeah, it's a violet, um, Mianfu. And now we go into Fungus, and what do we see out of Sken? Oh, that's spicy. Yeah, I really like that set. I like that set, because knockoff is everywhere on Little Cup, right? So you get your Violet knocked off, and then Acro is able to deal with a lot of the things that want to switch into you, like Fungus, or like now it would deal with Timber and other Mianfus. Uh, so this looks this looks like a really hard set for Haysup to deal with right now. Uh, nothing really wants to switch into this uh, Mianfu anymore. And I definitely think he's free to click. He could honestly click... Uh, he could probably just click Acro again. I don't know if Haysup would want to switch. And what does he switch into really freely? Nothing. But he can't really go Onyx because then the Sturdy's broken and he dies to high jump kick. And he can't switch into Vullaby really because Vullaby's going to take a shit ton. Depending on the set from high jump kick. He could go hard Vullaby. That's definitely an option I think. Or you just see U-turn. That's a fine play by Sken too. Uh, he sacks. We see the, the Fungus sack which... Um, I got, like Haysup didn't, I, I think he kind of would have liked to keep that, but like for Spritzy and stuff, but he didn't really have an option because, um, because like I say, he didn't have a switch into this. And it looks like we finally caught back up with the player, so, phew, I get to take a little bit of a rest, thank God. Uh, <laughs> uh now I think what Sken's gonna do is go Onyx, because it's the only thing that doesn't let in the Salandit for free. And I think Haysup here will now... Unless he has some sort of hidden power on Solandit, uh, he's probably going to go into Timber. And even if he did have, like, hidden power Grass, for example, on Solandit, um, I don't think he wants to go into that now because it kind of telegraphs it, and he might want to, like, save that for later. And I think for sure your best play here is just to go into um, Timber. Even if, like, if it is Scarf Solandit, which is what I'm kind of guessing at this point, based on the way that both players have been playing around it, uh, if you lock into HP Grass, then you get Pursuit Trap by Scarf Pawnyard, which would be really bad. So yeah, it goes Timber. I think Drain Punch is fine, because even without the Avila, I don't think it this dies to any move from Onyx. Uh, unless it was like Explosion, but it's not, because it's Sturdy Berry Juice. Uh, normally you only see Explosion on Weak Armor. But yeah, I'm surprised you didn't just knock off, or Drain Punch first, and then knock off. But I guess it doesn't matter too much. Knocking off the Spritzies uh, Avila now, like I said, is really nice. Uh, it's going to make it a lot harder to uh, for this thing to check the Timber later on. And uh, and the Volaby, which is like when you knock off the uh, Viola, it's not gonna be able to switch into like Volaby Brave Birds at all. Uh, I think Hates Up now could go into. I guess you could go hard to land it, um, because like Spritzy can't really touch that thing, since it's four times. Uh, since it resists Moonblast four times, he just drain punches though. I don't necessarily like that play. Yeah, I, do, I don't agree with. I don't get that play really. Um, by Haysup. I don't, I, I don't think that was a good play. I think he was, he thought that Sken would try to pass the wish, maybe, but the, keeping Spritzy healthy was too important. So he goes into Onyx here. Uh, he throws up another wish, and now we'll see what this Onyx has, if it has a way of stopping the Spritzy. I mean, it's gonna, yeah, Rock Blast would do a lot if it got hits, because uh, this is gonna be Berry Juice anyway, yeah. That that sucks that he missed, because that Rock Blast would do a lot since Spritzy lost its Violite, so that that is incredibly lame. Uh, the thing is here, though, if he could get this, like, weakened enough, like, by hitting Rock Blast, then Solandit will be able to Revenge Kill. So I still don't think Haysup's in, like, a terrible position at all. The problem is, if he ever locks into Sludge, bo or Sludge Bomb, if he is Choice Locked, like I'm assuming, then he does get Pursuit Trapped by Scarf Pawnyard. And, uh, we'll see what happens here, but... Uh, yeah, Onyx is definitely just gonna click Rock Blast to try and get as much damage off on this as possible, I would assume. And I think Sken... He doesn't have like a great play into the Onyx, especially now that he has a sturdy re-intact. Um, yeah, I'm not exactly sure what Sken's best play would be here. I guess it would be like what go okay go Pawnyard on Rock Blast. Yeah, uh, he just earthquakes. Yeah, oh that was a great play by Haysup. But to be honest, like that does more damage than Rock Blast anyway. Like most of the time, I guess depending on hits. So I don't get yeah I don't I don't know I'm not a huge fan of Sken doing that. But yeah, now we get to see a high jump kick, but he's going to live with Sturdy, and he could weaken this by clicking Earthquake. It's going to do a lot because it, lo yeah, it, it lost the Violite. And he wins the speed tie there. So, but yeah, Sken didn't really have, I don't think he really had another play into this. Uh, Onyx is a good mon. I love this mon. It's really fun to use. And now Sken has to like go into, uh, yeah, he, he has to win the speed tie here. Um... If he does, I still think he's gonna. I still think he loses though. So, I oh, yeah, he. I think Sken 100% loses at this point, uh, and he loses that speed tie. So it's just gonna like uh, speed up the process. But if I was Haysup, yeah, I, I would just go hard into the Salandit anyway. Here, 
Uh, depending, though, Earthquake probably, like, he probably can't Wish Protect off the Earthquakes while Call Mining up anyway, so you could probably just keep clicking that move. Uh, he does go hard to land it, though. That's what I thought he should have done last time. I don't know why he didn't do that last time. And we're probably just going to see Sludge Bomb come out, or Sludge Wave, whatever he has. Yeah, Sludge Bomb, and it's just going to Oko, so... Yeah, like, the way this was played, it was definitely Scarf to land it because of, um... Because he switched out on the Spritzy last time. Uh, like I said, Salandit's not the most seen mon. Uh, Scarf might be more getting more popular now. It's not something that I've really seen, though. Normally, like, the Salandits that were more popular early in the gen were, like, Nasty Plot, Poison Z. And, uh, but yeah, I guess Salandit did put in a lot of work. Like I said from preview, though, Sken didn't have great, um... Sken didn't have great answers to this, especially after he let the Onyx get brought down to its sturdy turn one and eat its berry juice, which I, I'm not, like, the biggest fan of that play. Um, but he did, yeah, I don't know. He didn't have, like, great switch-ins to Fungus anyway, because it was HP Fire, so... Yeah, I don't know, though. But it was a good game. Uh, good game by Hasup. Congratulations on the win. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, Ultra Balls out. Peace.